Good morning and welcome to another TRC tutorial. I'm Thomas from the Thomas the Shaver YouTube channel and today we're going to teach newcomers and beginners how to shave with a DE. Now we're going to go over several things here. I'm going to try to keep it quick because I know you guys don't have a lot of time. So let's first go over uh, prep. Um, so what I typically do is, you know, obviously you want to have some growth. You don't want to shave. You don't want to shave when there's not much to shave because you can irritate your skin. At least it does for me. So what I, what I like to do is at least have a full days of growth. So a full 24 hours between each shave. Um, and then I'll typically shave after a shower. So I'll hop out the shower. I'll make sure I need, I use a nice face cleanser or something, some soap or something to really clean out the pores. I'll come out and I'll do my shave or, or begin my prep. So, um, yeah, if you come out the shower and your, your face is nice and warm and hydrated, you should be good to go. So let's get into it. Uh, you first, obviously, need some hardware. So we'll go over a couple of uh, different styles of DE razors. Uh, this is not all of them by any means, but I have a few to show you. So this is a three-piece. This is a Rockwell 6C. Uh, this is a three-piece adjust, uh, adjustable. And what I mean by adjustable is... And it's, it's three piece because it has one piece, two piece, three piece. This is the handle, the base plate, and the top cap. Um, all three pieces have the top cap and the base plate, but not all are adjustable. I'll go over that really quick. So you can see on the R3 base plate, the flip side of that is the R1 base plate. R1 is the least aggressive, R3 is mid aggression, and then you get four, five, and six with the Rockwell. So you can change out base plates to change the different settings for your growth. Uh, we also have twist to open. So this is a twist to open. This is a Vanderhagen. And just like I say, twist to open, you twist the bottom here and it pops open the top. You enter your, your DE razor blade there. We'll, we'll go over that in a second here. And then you're ready to shave. You twist it down, you're good to go. Uh, we also have a two piece adjustable. So this is the Q-Shave two-piece adjustable. It has the top cap and it has the, the bottom cap and the handle all built in one. And you'll see here, you'll see here, there's that little line. And then you can adjust by twisting the handle. It goes from one to, again, six. So that's a, uh, this is a two-piece adjustable razor. We have single edge uh, uh, razors as well. So this is a featherweight by Jim. It's a Jim featherweight. This is a single edge. Single edge is basically just a single edge. It's a single blade that goes in here. You close it, and then you have one edge to shave your face with. A devil edge, which is the others that I've shown you, will have two edges. And you can kind of, as you're shaving, you can kind of flip over and shave with the opposite side. So this is also a three piece. So it has the handle the top cap and the base plate. This is my, uh, I think it's WSC. Um, this is the America razor. Very, very nice. This is actually what I'm gonna shave with. But this is this is not adjustable. This is a single base plate. And so, so what do we need to put in there? Well, today I'm gonna use a Permasharp, a Gillette Permasharp. That's what we'll use for today's shave. Um, it's just a DE razor blade. I'll kind of show you. They're all packaged a little differently. Some have double wrappers. So basically you just pull the blade out of the pack. Most of, uh, all of them have at least one envelope, we'll call it. Be very careful when you're taking this envelope off. So basically I'm just getting it as careful as I can. I was trying to show you, but let me flip it so I can actually see what I'm doing. So I'm going to slice my fingers up. Okay. So yeah, you just want to make sure when you're taking it out, you're not accidentally cutting the package with this because you know this is a very very fine blade and you don't want to have a bad shave due to a dulled edge so this is double edge so you have an edge at the top you have an edge at the bottom all right so what i do with this specific razor take my top cap i place the blade directly into it i put my bottom cap on And then we just screw it together and that's it and that's ready to go our razor is ready to go all right so next 
Uh, if you're coming from cartridge razors, you'll probably have some shave gel. Maybe you'll even have some Barbasol, you know. Um, you can use whatever you have, that's not a problem. But if you want the true, authentic, old school way of doing it, you'll probably want to grab yourself a brush. So a shave brush, this is my Badger. There's Badger, there's Badger, there's Boar. I don't recommend this for, for newer guys, in all honesty, I'll tell you why. And then there's Synthetic. Synthetic I would recommend for, for all newcomers. Um, just There's no maintenance on these, just clean it out whenever you're done, and that's it. I think that's for a different video. Um, but yeah, uh, buy either, buy either, buy a synthetic. If you're, if you're brand new or, or beginning in this, buy a synthetic. Don't buy, don't buy these. These are great value. Bores are definitely great value. There's nothing wrong with a bore. But if you're brand new and you feel this, you don't know what backbone is, and you feel this very very hard thing rubbing on your face, you know, again, irritation is a thing. You don't want to harm your face. And then get get good soap. Okay, so I'm going to begin lathering here. Basically, all I do is I have my my brush a little damp and I'm, I'm lathering in my bowl here. Any soap from the Razor Company's website, therazorcompany.com, will suffice, okay? As a, new, as a newbie, okay, just make sure that you pick a scent that you like or you think you'll like, and you don't have to spend a whole bunch of money on a soap. Just get a quality soap. Everything at the Razor Company is quality. As far as razors, as far as blades, as far as soaps, you can't go wrong with anything there. Just make sure you get something that is in your budget and that you like the scent profile on. And the scent profiles are all there. Because, you know, you'll be shaving with that for the foreseeable future. And, you know, you want to smell good. You don't want to shave with something that doesn't smell good. So, all right. So, what basically what I'm doing is I'm just whipping up a lather in here. Now, it's been a little while since I've gotten out of the shower, probably about 20 minutes, maybe even 30 minutes at this point. So I'm gonna hydrate my beard again. So I'm gonna run some warm water. Gonna put that on the face. And we do this again to soften the, the, the whiskers. So is it a tremendous help? No, it really isn't. But you do see a difference, at least I do. I have a very coarse beard. Um, I definitely see a difference. You can't. I'm not going to use this today, but you can buy pre-shaves. This is Parasso's pre-shave. It's basically just like a little menthol kick in there, menthol eucalyptus kick in there. Just a little cream. You get it out. You put it on. Do you need it? No, absolutely not. Um, if you want kind of a premium shave, you can grab that. So this is my brush loaded with soap. So what we're going to do, you know, if you use Barbasol or a shave gel that stuff pretty much foams up pretty quick barbasol comes out foamed up but we kind of have to generate our lather here and this is all part of the experience part of wet shaving you know enjoying the process taking your time if you're when I'm in a hurry still some mornings like when I'm in a super time crunch and I can only do one or two passes sometimes I'll use a cartridge you know but I've had the same I've, I've used the same exact cartridge for the past six months because I only used it probably three times in the past six months you know I have it as a standby just in case but the vast majority of the time I use all of my wet shaving products so again we're just generating some lather here for the future passes we will do a three pass shave and I'll tell you exactly why. Keep in mind that shaving this way is far more, it's, it's far better for your skin than with a three or four or five or six or however many blade cartridges have in them now. The cartridge I use uh, only has three blades, <laughs> but I know I know there's some with far more than that. And um, you have to keep in mind, if you're getting a lot of ingrowns while using cartridge razors, that's why. Because the blades are, are progressively, as you're going down, I mean, you're essentially doing five to six passes in one pass. So you're dragging the razor, you're, you're essentially using five blades, so you're cutting 
five different layers of of growth there and most of the time you're cutting far more than you need hence under under the skin hair which is um, ingrowns and you also get skin irritation all right so this is definitely enough lather so that's what we'll We'll just put our brush to the side there. I'll clean up a little bit. You don't have to. But since I'm gonna be talking, I don't wanna eat soap around my mouth. So I'll clean up a little bit just to make it a little more presentable. Okay. Next, what do we do? So what I'll do is one of two things. I'll either have a little cup of ice water that I'll keep this in. Again, it, it it's all preference. If you want a warm razor, run hot water, get the blade hot, and begin your shave. What we do as wet shavers is typically we like to go with the grain. So you'll have to map out your face, see how your hair grows. Most, most people, uh, their first pass is from the north to the south. So I'll do that now, north to south. We're going with the grain on this pass. We're wanting to make sure that we're not taking off a whole lot of hair here. We're not trying to be super efficient with this pass. All we want from this pass is to get the super long stuff out of the way. And uh, you know, you, you see me flipping, so you see me kind of All right, so that side's kind of gunked up with hair and lather, so I'll just, I'll flip it, and I'll use this, the, the fresh side. And I do prefer double-edge razors um, opposed, as opposed to single-edge because of that. Okay, rinsing again. So we're just trying to accomplish growth reduction. That's what a three pass shave accomplishes, growth reduction. You're not trying to get everything in one pass that could again, irritate the skin, it could cause razor burn, etc. All we're trying to do is, is slowly but surely, you know, reduce the growth. You may see me do some buffer passes. What are buffer passes? Buffer passes are, you saw on my chin there, I kind of got the bulk of the lather, meaning I got you know the hair that's under the lather, and then I kind of went back and, that's buffer passes. And I do, you don't have to do that. I do that <laughs> more, more than anything, probably out of habit, but I noticed that there's some parts of my beard that if I don't do that with, on the next pass, which is across the growth, um, I, I do have I do pick up a little bit more. So if I go with the grain and do those buffer passes, it, it leads to less irritation than if I were to do those same buffer passes across or against the growth. So, all right, so we're gonna relather up here. That was our first pass. So first pass with the grain. Second pass will be across the growth. Sometimes you'll see WTG. That's with the grain. Other times you'll see XTG, that's across the grain, and then you'll see ATG, which is against the grain. That's just lingo, wet shaving lingo. Um, you can say with the grain, against the grain, and across the grain as well. The thickness of the lather on your face does not matter. What you want is a nice, protective, and slick coating on your face. 
You don't have to have these big, you may see some videos of wet shavers that are having fun, enjoying their shave, and they have these big plumy lathers out to here on their face, Santa Claus, beer, uh, Santa Claus beards, excuse me. You don't need that, you don't need that. If you want to do that, perfectly cool, um, but you don't need you don't need that if, if you don't want to have that. You can see I just have a nice single layer. It's not a show lather. A nice single layer. So again, back to mapping your face. So you want to make sure, make sure that my video is still recording. My camera for some reason has been going out recently. Um, but you want to make sure that you map your face out and make sure that you're, you know where your, your growth goes. So if your growth grows from uh, north down, your first pass, you want to go north to south. If you're, if you're kind of, across the growth and then across the growth for me would be across my north south so my right side i basically go from my my right ear to the middle of my face And I'll go from my left ear to the middle of my face across the growth that way. Now what you'll see some guys do, and this is perfectly fine, and depending on your beard, if you want to do this, you, you can. Um, you'll see some guys kind of come across their entire face like that, and then they'll come back the other way. And again, we're just further reducing the amount of growth on our face to get to the point where there's essentially nothing there and we're baby bottom smooth. That's something else you may see, BBS, baby bottom smooth. That means that you could, you could rub your face any way whatsoever, against the grain, across the grain, with the grain, and you don't feel a single hair. And that is the most... Phenomenal feeling. Um, I mean, I guess, I guess women feel that whenever they shave their legs, right? Like, but, um, but I've never shaved my legs, so I don't, I don't know what that feeling is until I, sh I, I got my first baby bottom smooth shave with wet shaving. So my, my, under my neck grows a little bit different than um, the rest of my face. So across the growth here is actually kind of up my neck, and, and again. What I'm doing here may be opposite of what you have to do for across the growth, but, but it doesn't matter. You just, all we're trying to do is we're not trying to take off too much beard all at once. We're trying to take it nice and slow and get the growth off as efficiently and effectively as possible without causing irritation. All right, so our last pass, our last of three passes. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the lather out of my brush here. We have a little badger hair that kind of pulled out there, not a problem. So you see me just put the lather there and then we'll kind of just paint it on. So I started wet shaving. That's what I was talking about, eating lather. <laughs> Doesn't taste too good, smells good though. Um, I started wet shaving when I was 29 years old. That was three years ago. I just dated myself. Um, and before that, I would always use cartridge razors. And I would always have uh, pretty much a consistent neck full of ingrown hairs. And I would always have my wife couple times a week I would lay on the bed she would take tweezers not these specific tweezers but she would take a pair of tweezers and I would just lay on the bed with my neck up and she would just pull out ingrown hairs when I started wet shaving it took probably a month or two to kind of eliminate all of those together now I'll still get them um, definitely not as frequently you know don't get me wrong and just like that, we're to the end of our shave. Uh, like I said, my video, my camera keeps cutting out. I gotta figure that out or get a new camera. But um, 
Basically, I just finished the shave. I rinsed very, very good with cool water just to kind of reduce irritation. Um, as you can see, spectacular shave. Uh, we're baby bottom smooth on the cheeks, on the chin. The neck has a little bit, um, but not very much. Uh, but you know, if you're beginning, you could just do a one pass shave if that suits you, just so you can get into the rhythm. Again, you'll have to, you'll have to kind of learn, see how that's angled? You'll have to kind of learn what angle to hold it at while you're shaving. You know, there's, there's a couple variables. Just take your time, enjoy it, no rush. And uh, yeah, uh, after you wash off uh, with nice cold water, get all the lather off, get all the residual lather off, kind of dry your face a little bit. And then if you have dry skin, you probably want to use a balm. I use a balm sometimes, but today I'm using an alcohol splash, Brute. Um, so yeah, I mean, I just finished up with that. I put that on my face already. I have a little weeper. Uh, a weeper is basically just like a little spot that keeps bleeding under the skin. Or not under the skin, but you know, on your on your face. Um, but yeah, they, they typically clear up. It's not a cut. It's more so just you took a little too much off. So, all right, guys, uh, you can leave comments down below. Um, I'll, I'll answer all of them. I'll watch when this video gets uploaded and answer them. And I'm sure Jason will as well if you have any specific comments. Uh, but yeah, like I said, anything from the Razor Company is quality. From soaps, to splashes, to balms, to the hardware, to the actual uh, razors themselves, um, and the razor blades. So, uh, yeah, definitely check out out the, the Razor Company store. Um, and yeah, other than that, I'm Thomas the Shaver, and I uh, hope you enjoyed this.